Hey everyone, Mirza here, and today we're going to be creating this lightning effect tutorial that you see in the background. It's super simple to do using Unity 5.5, using the new trails and lighting module. Uh, so, without really any further delay, let's get started. I also, um, I'm going to insert this little cut into the video so you can see all the other sorts of effects you could create using basically the same technique. And this, for example, this prefab is in my particle effects package on the asset store. Right, so you can see now it's following the mouse. And this one's similar to what I had in the tutorial. The first thing we're going to do is create a new particle system, of course. And we're just going to reset its transform. Change the shape to a sphere. Okay, change the radius to just nothing, really. Uh, take the lifetime down to about one, one second. Start speed to zero. So now it's just this kind of ball here that's not doing much, and I'll just move it right up to the top there, just so it's off uh, off the screen. It's about five units up in the air on the Y. Next, like lightning would, uh, it has to be going down super fast, so let's set the velocity over lifetime to negative 25. So you can see it's just slamming down way, way down, right, going past the little ground plane here. And because we're going to be using mostly the trails module, let's turn that on first. We don't need the renderer for the regular particle, so we can turn the render mode to none. Okay. Now we need to assign the trails material, which we'll just set as the default particle system for now. Okay, so you can see you've got your trails there. And we're going to turn the start size way down, just so it's a line, basically. Now, the real cool stuff happens when you go into the noise module, turn that on, and set the strength to about 8. Okay, so you can see it's kind of looking like a single streak. Now, currently the, the field is fixed, so let's set the scroll speed for this to maybe 1. Okay, set the frequency to about a 1 as well. And you can see it's starting to look like a you know, the lightning that we want. We can actually set these between two constants for a little bit of randomization. Okay. Now, we need to change the color, so let's set the start color to random between two cons uh, two colors, and set this to maybe, this one maybe like yellow, and this one to something bluish, just so we have a little bit of variation. You can see it's starting to look like what we want. Next, what we want to do is enable collisions. Now you can set it to just a single plane, you can set that up yourself, but for now we're going to make it easy on ourselves. Set it to world so it collides with everything, all the geometry um, that has a collider in the scene. And set the bounce to something small like 1, so you can see it's very chaotic, but it is bouncing up and down. Now let's set the start lifetime to random between two constants, maybe 0.25 and 0.5. Okay, that's looking a little bit better. Um, but we are going to go back into the trails module and uncheck die with particles. So you can see they continue bouncing even though the particle might be dead. Next, we can set the width over trail to a curve. Just add a new point near the end, just drag it right to the end there, and drag this down. And maybe randomize the start size, so it can be 0.1 and 0.05. So that, no, I think it's too small. Uh, I guess that works. Okay, so we've got that much going so far. That doesn't look too bad. Um, what we're going to do next is add a sub-emitter for when the particles collide with something, so you see a little burst of particles coming out. Now, at this point, you can get really creative, but just to show you how to start off, uh, let's set this to collision. So on collision, new particle system, it's going to add a new particle system. That's way too many particles. They're way too big. Uh, so let's just go to the sum emitter, set the size. Size way down. Random between 2 maybe. 0 0.05 and 0 0.1. Start lifetime. Random between 2 maybe. 0 0.5 and 1 second. Okay. Uh, enable the gravity modifier. Now these need to burst upward, so let's just set this to maybe 4, 
for three. That's not too bad. And then turn collisions on with the world. And actually, let's have them fade in and out. So, open the color over lifetime module, set the two endpoints to zero on alpha, and then just click somewhere in the middle, about 50%, and turn the alpha to maximum. So now they're fading in and out. It doesn't look so jarring, but maybe another thing I could do is between two constants here, two and three. Okay. And turn the emission down from maybe five to ten particles per hit here. That looks better. And again, so let's just change the start color to be random between about, you know, this and maybe some bluish color. Like so. Next, let's turn on stretch billboard for these particles. And we roughly got about what we wanted with the lightning effect. So we just hit play. Not bad. You can go back to the particle system, change the emission to be something more if you want a lot of chaos. Uh, you can mess around with the bounce. If you want it to spread out more after it hits initially. Let's add some lighting taking advantage of the new lights module that the particle systems have. So let's create a new um, light, point light, okay? Just any point light in the scene, and we'll use this basically as a template. So let's just turn this off. We can leave the default settings, you can see here, no shadows, just performance. Go back to particle system. And in the lights module, drag that point light in. Maybe turn this up to five, two, three. Oh, and turn up the ratio. Oops. Turn up the ratio to one, so you can see it better. So that looks really cool. And another thing we can do with the color over lifetime for this, for the particle system, the initial main particle system for the lightning is set that to gradient, and then at the end you can always change it to something like. Again, this is all, you know, up to you how creative you want to get with this. So it gives this kind of effect. Now, that's just about just about all I wanted to show you. Um, and that's just using default particles. Ideally, what you'd want to do for this particle system is uh, not use the default particle system, but use more something like a capsule. Right, so you get a stronger color, really bright capsule. Um, same for the sub-emitter, something sharper than just the default particles. So I've got this from my VFX package that you could also find in the asset store if you're interested. And you can see what that looks like. Right, so that's very similar to what I had before. Actually, it's almost identical uh, to the particle system effect that I had before, you can see. And you can see, actually, because I have these controls already set up here, what this would look like in slow motion if you're interested. So you can see it still looks very cool. Like this. See that's the one from before. It's the same one. And you'll notice in the other one it was actually a bit uh, smoother and this one's harder. That's just because of the way I set up the the value for the trails, minimum vertex distance. So if this was set to a higher value, you'd get sharper curves like that if you're interested, versus softer ones if you set this to zero. Anyways, enjoy, uh, get creative, create something cool, and if you have any questions, let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.